Hi friends, my next picture is one of my favorites, which is to draw a hummingbird drinking nectar from a plant. So you take your sheet of paper and let's first begin with the hummingbird. So just like any regular bird, print, draw the head and remember it's got a long beak. So we're going to put the beak. It's going to be drinking nectar from a flower. So we're going to here we go. Draw the body over there. And then you can have the wings. You don't have to show the feet. We're going to do this as a little different way. You're going to have the wings this way. Because it's sitting perched, right? Okay, draw it up so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now behind this, let's go ahead and draw our cactus plant. So we'll do this right over here. I'll do one big cactus over here as if it's sitting on the cactus. That's one there. We'll do another one over there. I'm going to do another one over here. So I've drawn the parts of the cactus. Now again, this picture looks incomplete, but don't worry, we're going to go ahead and finish it off. Let's put the eye over there so we know where the eye is. And we're going to be painting this part a slightly different color. Hummingbirds are always very beautiful colors. And then these are going to be the flowers that we're going to have over here. I'm just going to scribble that in over there. And then there's another flower over here. And then we can do... Again, you don't have to do it exactly. You can do it the way you like. I like to keep my picture simple. The painting is what's going to change the whole thing. So there we go. That's our picture. All right. Now let's begin painting it. And um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole background pink and then we're going to do the rest of the colors. So let's go ahead and begin the background as a pink color. So here you can see I've started painting my background pink in color. And I've kind of mixed a little bit of the blue in it so it looks like it's in the evening time, a bit of the blue sky and the pink sky. So using a sponge brush, I'm doing that. And I didn't use a dark pink because I want to make sure I can still see my picture. So you can see tinges of purple and pink in the background, which makes it look really beautiful. So go ahead and finish your background with the sponge or with the brush and cover your whole page a pink color so that that's the sunset effect that we're trying to create in this picture. Okay, friends, you can see I've done my whole background like a purplish pink color, and I'm going to dry it now so it dries really well. Quite pink in the rest of it. Okay, friends, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paint the cactus plants at the back. So here we go. I'm going to use a nice bright green, and I'm going to go around my bird because I don't want to ruin the feathers that I've drawn of the bird. So I'm going to do the whole cactus. This painting is going to need a lot of focus because it's a little bit more complicated than some of the others that we've done. So go ahead and paint all your cactus plants green and then we'll be adding the little touching parts, uh, touching pieces to the, the cactus as well. So you can pick a light green or a dark green, whatever you like. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Here we go, here's my cactus that I've painted. As you can see, it doesn't look anything like cactus because we haven't finished it. Now I'm going to go ahead to my bird and I'm going to go ahead and finish my bird. So I'm going to add different colors. I'm going to do the breast of the bird, which is just under the eyes. I'm going to do that blue because the hummingbirds are very, very pretty, colorful birds. So that's what I'm going to do mine. Mine's going to be very colorful. So this part's blue, as you can see. All right, and you can make it any color you want, any color you want. You can even mix your colors. 
I've decided I'm going to make the top of the head of the bird red. So I'm going to blend in a red color over here. And I want it to look natural, so I want the colors to blend in. There we go. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of red in the feathers over here too. And I'm actually, in this picture, I'm actually going to add 3D feathers to finish the effect of the, of the bird. Now for the feathers, I've actually picked a purple color. So for the wings, so I'm going to add some purple over here to the wings. And you can see I'm shaping the wings with the brush. Right? You can see what I'm doing over there. And when I, again, make your bird colorful. Don't worry about being exact because, again, this is a cartoon picture and we want our picture to look beautiful and as fun as possible. So I'm going to add some purple over here and back into the feathers over here. See that? Starting to take shape. Yep. In actual fact, I could actually add a little tinge of purple right here so it blends in with the bird. There we go. Now I think we should focus on the beak as the rest of it is drying. So the beak, I'm actually going to paint a black color. To paint the beak a black color. Thin brush. Now that we know that the beak is drinking nectar, so we're going to be positioning a flower right over there. And let's not forget the eye of the bird. I'm going to head, go ahead and put the eye right there. It's really starting to take shape as you can see. Right? Perfect. Now let's go ahead and go back to our nectar, our cactus I mean. And let's go ahead and do the finishing points of the cactus. Now you know the cactus has little, little spikes, right? So what we're going to do first is we're going to add some little dots for the cactus. So right over here, I've taken a cotton bud, take my picture up and I'm going to do little dots going down. So it actually looks like a cactus. See that? So go ahead and do the same, design your cactus, and then we'll finish off the rest of the picture. As you can see, I put my dots on the cactus. Now I'm going to add the three dimension to it by adding some white dots. So in between the black ones, I'm actually adding some white dots. So in between the black dots, go ahead and take your other cotton bud and go ahead and add your white dots right in between that, just like I'm doing right over here. As you can see, my picture is taking shape, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dry my picture, and then we're going to finish off the flowers, and I've actually decided I'm going to add some yellow flowers, and I'm going to add some 3D effects to it. Okay, now what I'm going to do to add my 3D effects is the first thing I'm going to do is put the eye. So here we go. Add some glue there for the eye. There we go. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a 3D flower as the effect so that the hummingbird is actually sucking nectar from this flower right over there. See that? Make it stay there. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some glitter to the rest of the flowers to add some a little touch to it. So let's put some glitter over here and make it look like a flower. Mm. 
and glitter glue looks really nice. Makes such a beautiful picture. And if you really want to add some dimension to your bird, what we could do is take some glitter glue and add some color to the wings over here. So create a definition of wings right there. See how it adds a 3D effect to the bird and looks absolutely beautiful. And there you go guys. You have your beautiful hummingbird. Great job. I hope you liked it.